Hi guys, Aaron Dorr here, Policy Advisor with Wyoming Gun Owners, with an update for you on a race we're hearing about in House District Number 30, getting questions about HD 30. This is incumbent Mark Jennings versus Gail uh, Simons, I think that's pronounced right, Gail Simons. And uh, we're, get, we're getting asked who is the pro-gun candidate uh, in this race. Here's what we know so far. We know that Mark Jennings has signed and returned his 2018 WIGO candidate questionnaire 100% pro-gun. He pledged to co-sponsor pro-gun bills like repealing gun-free zones. He promised to oppose all the different gun control bills we asked him about, from red flags gun seizures uh, to you know, re banning guns unless you're 21 years of age or above, to banning and confiscating the AR-15, uh, to repealing stand your ground law, repealing constitutional carry. Every single thing we asked him, uh, Mark Jennings stood up for gun owners and surveyed 100% on his 2018 WIGO candidate questionnaire. More than that, though, for the last couple of years, Mark has been a strong ally of gun owners in the Capitol. Uh, specifically this year, in 2018, Mark was an early co-sponsor of House Bill 168. This was the Stand Your Ground law that became law this year thanks to WIGO members. Uh, he was one of the leading co-sponsors uh, of this bill, House Bill 168. So he's not just saying what he would do. He has uh, He's kind of walked the walk. He already has done it. And here he's pledging to uh, do it again. So a very encouraging response there from Mark Jennings in House District Number 30. Unfortunately, Gail Simons, uh, Simons, I think it's pronounced right. Gail Simons has refused to answer anything. She's refused to answer the, our, our entire survey. We've had members who have called her. We've had people who've emailed her and said. Where do you stand on these issues? Would you vote to ban the AR-15? She won't say. You know, would you support these red flags gun seizure laws? She won't say. Would you promise to make sure and oppose any effort to repeal the stand your ground law bill we just got passed this year? Gail Simons simply won't say. You know, I've been working in gun politics in a variety of states for about 10 years, over 10 years now. And in my experience, and in WIGO's experience specifically, when a candidate won't tell us where they stand, especially right now in a contested Republican Party primary, it's often a sign that person intends to go along with the establishment moderate crowd in Cheyenne and work to undermine and water down and do dirty deals when it comes to our gun rights. That's what oftentimes happens. Maybe it won't happen here. But it's happened every single time previously when a candidate is too afraid or too devious or too embarrassed or too whatever their issue is to stand up for gun owners when they need our help the most in a primary. We rarely, has, as in never, see them stand up for gun owners once they're in office and don't need us again for the next two or four or six years, as the case may be. So very concerning uh, from Gail Simons that she refuses to sign the survey. And again, very proud to see Mark Jennings stand up for gun owners and sign his WIGO candidate questionnaire 100%. So guys, if you're up there in HD30... Make sure and share our video. You know, show it to your friends, show it to your family, show it to your gun buddies, and make sure that gun owners know where these two candidates stand. This is our time. This is our chance to hold people accountable and to make sure we don't get you know uh, the, the 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 you know the, the beginnings of gun control creeping in in Cheyenne. This is our chance as gun owners to stand up and say we want to know where you stand, and if you won't tell us, well. You just told us. So, guys, pass this around. More to come. If you haven't yet joined WIGO, guys, go to our website today, wyominggunowners.org, and get signed up. Thank you very much.